Okay, so captain's log. Drop the pot, day eight. I just got done with a meeting, 7 a.m. meeting. I actually uh, spoke up during fellowship, which I've never done before, and uh, I got a lot, a lot of helpful information. Um, yesterday was was rough for me. I know I got on here yesterday uh, feeling like I was never going to pick up again, and by ironically 420, I was losing my mind. I just, I just, I got blindsided by all these thoughts. It, it was a thing with the dog and the shit and the house and the cat and the, and I just lost it. And I thought, what, what, how weak am I that the dog shits on the rug and I'm just gonna go run and muse over it, you know? I, I don't, I, that's something that I gotta work on not being so hard on myself I'm expecting perfection I'm expecting it's been a week I should be I should have this shit be and, and surprised that I don't and I just really got uh, self-defeated and um, I just I, I just uh, I just want to say fuck it and all those old thoughts and all those old rationalizations in my head came back like what's the big deal just fucking go smoke why are you putting yourself through this it's, there's no harm in it there's but I don't want to go back I don't want to go back I don't want to fall asleep again I don't want to go into another coma. I want to be here. I want to live my life. The other day I, I said that uh, weed is the lotus flower and I got my, my Life with Hope book yesterday and I was really surprised to see That I wasn't that far off and saying that it was the lotus flower. Because I feel like I picked up at 18 and I woke up last week 42 years old and my kids are grown. And I can't get any of that time back. All the times that I, I didn't, I didn't play with my kids or take them where they wanted to go because I was more concerned with being high and I can't get any of that back they're grown and, no they're not grown 15 and 20 that's, that's grown and not babies anymore and I feel like I slept through their life not only my life but theirs and I can't get that back. And I gotta find a way to forgive myself for that, I guess, because they're not holding it against me. They don't even... They didn't know. I... I know. I know. so stuck on the fact that I'm not an abusive person and I've been working on my anger issues and I've been trying to heal myself and I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't realize how much I was abusing myself how much I've been neglecting myself and my connections
so, uh, much to the surprise of myself, I'm not perfect. And much to the surprise of myself, it's day eight and I'm still struggling and detoxing. I just, you know, I get in my head, I want to do something. I'm determined to do it. And, uh, I expect perfection from myself and I'm not, I'm not. In the second, I think it's going to be easy. It's the second I, I you know, I, I, I fuck myself. <laughs> But, uh, I can't, I, I just, failure is not an option right now. It's just not because I've been failing long enough. I don't want, I just, just thinking about going back to the mental state I've been in for so long, it just terrifies me. I was in that state, afraid of the death, afraid of what's ahead of me, and I had no idea I was already dead. Yeah, these fucking, these traumas that I've been through. I've just been going through life like, fuck you, you can't hurt me. And then I get hit harder. Fuck you, you can't hurt me. Fuck you, you can't hurt me. And I'm, I was bleeding to death. Just hidden by my own defiance and denial. The fact is, it all hurt. It all hurt. And nobody can heal me but me. So, that's all I'm focused on. That's all I care about. I've been going to these meetings like crack. <laughs> I think I went to five meetings yesterday. And I started today, 7 a.m., my first meeting. I'm going to do the 10 and the 12 and the 3 and... And the 7 and the 8 and the 10 p.m., I'll do 18 meetings, if that's all I can do. I just can't go back. I can't go back. I can't. Uh... I don't want to medicate. Not anymore. So I gotta face it. People do it all the time, right? They can do it, I can do it. I just um I look forward to it at least being out of my system. I look forward to getting up in the morning and my first thought not being it's time to smoke it's always time to smoke you know the sun is up let's smoke it's hot outside let's smoke it's cold outside let's smoke i'm happy let's smoke i'm sad let's smoke i'm mad let's smoke i don't want to do that anymore I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> and, um, I'm almost 
most afraid of what's gonna come up. I'm, I'm most afraid of them. What I shoved down that I thought I healed. But I gotta remember it's over. It, it's, it all happened already. It's not happening to me now. It, I gotta remember everything that I have learned and the tools that I have developed, even though I was using, I still, you know. I gotta remember that these emotions, you're just, you're just visiting. And as long as I allow them to flow, they will flow and they will go. You gotta feel it to heal it, right? That's all I'm trying to do. I don't have the confidence I had yesterday, but I still got my motherfucking determination. Um, and I'm doing it. And I'm doing it. It's day eight. And I'm still sober. That's huge. That's huge. And then if that's all I have to hang on to right now, then that's it. I don't have to do anything today, but not call my dealer, not smoke, not drink, not run. I don't want to run anymore. There's nothing chasing me. I can just stand still and allow myself to feel and heal. And I uh, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to stand right here in this present moment and allow myself to feel. That's what I'm gonna do. One minute at a time. <laughs> Hopefully, um, <sighs> hopefully, I'm not like this all day. I'll probably be back. This helps. Because I don't have to focus on writing. I can just talk. You know. I can do that. <laughs>